Hello, welcome back to Simple Trends. The efforts taken by every homemaker to keep the house clean and hygienic is commendable. But in our day-to-day -day routine, we tend to oversee a few things where small changes can make a big difference to our lives. Let's see 10 common mistakes in our routine cleaning. While extra care is given to keep toilet bowls sparkle, the cleaning brush gets neglected. Leaving a wet brush in its holder gives out a foul odor and is the breeding ground for germs. Once you are done with the cleaning, rinse the brush well and allow it to dry. I disinfect the brush with a little detol. You can use any disinfectant for this before it goes back to the holder. Chopping boards in our kitchen are used daily. We get chopping boards in variety of materials like plastic, wood and silicon. Washing plastic boards can be done with soap but the hazards of plastics is well known. The wooden chopping boards cannot be cleaned with harsh chemicals or soap as they tend to absorb them. They can be cleaned with a bit of baking soda and lemon juice to remove stains and odour. The best option is to look for a stainless steel chopping board. The commercially available ones are not budget friendly. So I began using a spare stainless steel rolling board for chopping purposes and found them convenient to wash and maintain. If you have better ideas other than the traditional one, which I find difficult to use, please share in the comment section to benefit other viewers too. No two people are alike and no two surfaces can be cleaned the same way and with the same type of cloth. While microfiber clothes are the best for sensitive surfaces like glass or polished wood, it would not be ideal to use the same for window grills. Rough surfaces damage the microfiber and leaves it unfit for use. A used worn out socks can be used to clean such surfaces easily. A cotton towel which can absorb well works best for kitchen surfaces and appliances. This can also be done by non-oven towels which are reusable and can absorb moisture well. Hard water stains on taps and faucets are a common problem. Regular cleaning removes them to some extent but leaving them to air dry leaves behind water stains. Wiping them with a soft dry cloth after a deep clean ensures there are no water stains which reduces the burden of frequent deep cleaning. Our daily hygiene routine begins with our toothbrush. Wet toothbrushes if left in closed cabinets become the ideal breeding place for bacteria and germs. This poses a health risk too. It is best to keep them in open containers or shelves to allow them to dry well before the next use. It would be advisable to wash them in warm water and sun dry them at least once a week. <music> Leaving wooden cutlery and rolling pins in the sink for some time damages them. Ideally, they need to be washed immediately and wiped dry for durability and to avoid fungal and bacterial growth on them. The frequently cluttered place in every home is the pin stand, especially when we have kids. Exactly when we need to write something, we will never get a proper pin. It is so irritating to see pins without refills or refills gone dry. Declutter them frequently and those which need to be refilled can be kept separately. Keep only a few needed stationery in the pen stand to avoid clutter and confusion. The next in line of clutter are paper bills which we tend to neglect. 
this not only is an eyesore but we also tend to lose track of important bills which need to be held on for some time decluttering these ones in a fortnight ensures that we will be able to clear out trash and retain the important ones which need to be filed spill proof glasses have a rubber casket which acts as a proper sealant and prevents liquids from spillage these are ideal for carrying juice or any other liquid items to work but food particles get stuck in them which if not cleaned thoroughly leads to food poisoning cooker gaskets also have food particles which stick to them while cooking soak them in warm water with a little baking soda vinegar and dish liquid soap to clean and disinfect them before the next use now a little towards our environment too when we cut milk packets we tend to throw away the small piece separately which goes unnoticed during garbage segregation there have been many instances of these small pieces ingested by sea animals or cows which leads to health hazards to these animals too to avoid this drop the small piece in the milk packet before disposing or empty the milk packet by making a small slit on the top hope you found this video useful share this with someone you care to make a positive influence in their lives small changes make a big difference subscribe to simple trends for more useful and interesting videos hit the like button and drop your comments to keep me motivated see you all in the next video till then bye